Cone Bonois, good evening, Vault Dwellers. It is I, Logan and my Titan, and welcome to episode 107. Oh my god. Episode 107 of Fault 76, Blind, Death, and Dumb. We've kind of given up Blind at this point, as we are pretty much done with this series. Um, only a couple a little bit tying up loose ends and this and that. So we've had to look some things up, but we did play, you know, like 105 episodes blind. Death? There's probably been <laughs> 105 deaths. Uh, dumb? Yeah, I'm still dumb. That's never going to change. So we are currently, let's take a quick peek, trying to finish up. Great, the nightclub advertiser. What the hell is that? Read what nightclub advertisement? Alright, I wasn't here. What is this? What is it talking about? Alright, they're just messing with me now, honestly. What nightclub advertisement? Read the nightclub advertisement. I no, that was not here. This is 76 being 76 and just adding things in that I ne didn't necessarily want to do. Um, but we'll check that out this episode just to see what it is. But this is all we have left. Um, okay, let's see. The things I miss about gang life. Hmm. Nothing. So, Short list. Just a couple things. Two of them are ally things, and that's what we're working on. We're working on Beckett. We're trying to finish off Beckett. We had done all Sophia stuff. Hey, you just bumped into my cooking Having pot, a good sir. good one, I hope. Yeah, you look amazing, sir. I just can't believe you did it. <laughs> I just... I feel... lighter. <laughs> I really do. Ronnie came by while you were away. She said Edwin can't even consider helping us at all because he's in a state of, uh, despair. Look, uh, I know this sounds, uh, petty compared to what you've already done, but, well, his, uh, his dog is missing. Are you serious now I'm looking for a dog? Oh, isn't this the same guy that had his cat stolen and skinned? This guy's not allowed to have pets. Perception plus four. To some people, dog is as important as a family member. Yeah, those people are called weirdos. <laughs> I don't care if Edwin wants to marry his dog, right? If it puts his gang on our side, we all win. You know what, Beck, I'm, I'm, I'm already not a huge fan of yours. That's why I have you dressed up so uh, sexy. Um... And then now you're you're not an animal lover either. Just give me the details and I'll grab the dog. A lost dog, seriously? Why don't we just kill it? <laughs> so Ronnie takes his place. I'm gonna say that. Uh, first of all, that's evil. You know, like evil. Edwin is a good guy. I mean, he's a little mushy in places, but he's fine. Secondly, that's Ronnie's uncle. She actually loves him. Do you think she'd be happy with that? Come on. Jeez. Uh, thirdly, Edwin has a ton of health issues. I'm surprised he's still around. We've been helping Ronnie this whole time. You know what I mean? <sighs> I know, I know. It's ridiculous. But look, to finish off the Blood Eagles, we're going to need Edwin's help. So let's play ball, okay? I got to wait here for Sage, so do me this favor. Please. Yeah, just give me the details, Thanks, Jesus friend. Lord. Well, I know it's silly, but, uh, hey. It means something to Edwin, so... What can we do? I'm not flirting with him. I just wanted to... Wanted you to know that I'm glad we've been getting along so well. I I hope you feel the same way. Uh, aren't the Blood Eagles pissed at us now? They have no idea who you are. I'm, I'm sure they're taking out revenge on... Literally every single vault dweller they see right now. Others too, maybe. I know it sounds like we made things worse, but we have to finish it. We have to cut off the other two heads. 
And then they're just idiots again. I mean, it was not hard to kill that dude, like, literally at all. What else can we do to cripple the Blood Eagles? Well, I'm not sure yet. But I'm hoping some of my contacts will give me an idea while you're grabbing the... Uh, dog. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just going. I think its name is Noodles. I... I'm 60% sure of that. Anyway. Uh, good luck. All right. Nice heels. Oh, noodles. Oh, noodles. Where are we going for noodles? Noodles is this direction. All right. What is he giving me? I didn't even see. I don't, I don't even care. Noodles. Where are you, noodles? Oh, noodles is a place I've not been to. That's almost shocking. All right. You know the deal. We'll go to Foundation. And then we'll fast travel down there. Try to save a little bit of caps. Now, why would you do that? Well, because my my bow and arrow, my bow that I'm using now, because I'm a stealth sniper, apparently, um, is Aristocrats, which is affected by... I'm not sure which what's better to go to. Uh, the amount of caps I have. So, 8 caps is a lot better than 20 caps, which is probably what it would have been. If you're new to the channel, Joe's a Rose Going to Geyser Moss. If you're new to the series, as Jimmy Moss Jane, if you're regular, like a Daniel, like Isabella Steele. Okay, reading aside. Wait, what? Where's that guy going? Wait, what? Who's shooting me? I don't appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Go. I'm trying. But, I mean, this fight's not going well. Because I'm supposed to be stealth sniper. And you're in my face. So, can you please just die? Oh my god, why do you have friends? Right. I don't... I don't appreciate this. At all. Okay. I'm still in danger. Alright, now back to hidden. Oh my god. I love how I still... How I still can almost die for no reason. Just absolute. There was no reason for any of that. Sure, I'll grab some blackberries. Caution from what? Who is using a minigun? Seriously, what is happening? Am I not stealthy anymore? Like, I don't get it. I will be happy to... take these guys out with the bow and arrow now. Still trying to figure out who's using a minigun. But if you are a regular... <laughs> um... Now everybody's just gone. All right now, there it is. Hey, could we, could you, could you? Oh my god! Line firing. Line firing's fine. They might say, Loki, didn't you just say last episode that you're not going to kill everything? But they attacked me, so now they must die. Don't worry, Am. 
again? And if so, how? How are they just blind firing to exactly where I am when I moved to a completely different position? I mean, thank you. I guess it's hitting the fence. I don't know what's happening. All right, why is it only tickling now? Yes, I'll take some blackberries because they're delicious. Who are you shooting at now? On out. All right. It's funny how I still hit the reload. It's like my brain can't handle the fact that. All right. I I really only mainly did that because the like the first dude that I killed clearly looked like one of the guys with the uh, codes. All right. So, let's get my arrows back. I mean, I already I'm pretty sure I would have a grenade launcher that I tried to play with and I couldn't really do that much with it. Alright, and that guy, the first one I killed didn't count. He's he's just he's just gone, apparently. Well that's that's annoying. Again, I don't even wanna want to or need to fuss with this place, but laser turrets. Laser turret's gonna die. Hey, you know what I should be using? You know what I should be using. Yeah, the world's loudest. World's loudest gun. We ready? There we go. My revenge has been had. Let's put the let's put the Daniel back on because that allows us to sneak faster. Supposedly, it doesn't seem like I'm going any faster, but it says it says that's what it's doing. All right. Anyway, if you are a regular Okai Renasai, welcome back, welcome home. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Uh, Teresa had commented. Uh, Teresa is definitely a regular as well. My apologies for I don't think I had said her. Uh, had commented and said that she can tell that I want to get this done. And why did it just make the over encumbered noise? For me picking up a flower and that didn't make any sense. And why was I in caution again? Somebody's shooting. Why do I have So there's a supply drop over here randomly. I don't know why. I'm trying to do things that have nothing to do with a supply drop. I am almost over encumbered. That's why. How is that possible? Seriously. Why do I have a rolling pin? It only weighs one pound, but still, why? Why? 
Why do I have a meat cleaver? What is happening? When did I pick these things up? Oh my god. I don't even... I have a minigun. That's not my... Well, no wonder... When did I pick up a minigun? There. I solved that problem. Very strange. I don't. I don't know why. Why I had a minigun. No, but we're going. Where we're going is apparently is down the mountain. So let's see if I could die falling down a mountain again. It's. It's been. It's been a while since I've done that. It's been a while since I died falling down a mountain. But I li this looks fairly safe. If you are watching this series and you're watching episode 107 and you have not subscribed, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Please subscribe. Please help me out. I'm not asking you to ring a bell or jingle your jangles or tickle your tail feathers or anything else. Okay, so who am I killing here? This looks like... Yeah... Mothman cultists. Now, am I going to be able to, like, get in here and take a dog and leave without engaging? I don't know if that's even going to be possible. Let's, um... Let's see if we can figure out where the dog is first, I guess. Since we already fought things I didn't need to fight. Oh, great Mothman. Look upon your subjects with mercy and protect them from harm. Okay, where's the puppy? The puppy's... That's... That's not a puppy. That's not a puppy. Am okay. I worthy? How will I know? Um, Maybe I should just keep praying. All right, am I supposed to be on going with Noodle? On the great day of reckoning, the worthy will become one with the divine light. I mean, Noodles just took off. Okay. I guess that's all I had to do, and Noodles is going to take care of the rest of the business on his own. You guys got anything the cool? Reckoning, the worthy will become one with the divine light. I've never been here before. So I'm just taking a little little look see around. Let's see what some Mothman poop Mothman cultist poop looks like. Mothman, hear my prayer. Keep us safe from the dangers of beasts and men. and holy Mothman. Watch over us in our time of trials. Yes, I am so stealthy. For the most part, I can walk right past dudes, although I am now in caution for some reason. Why does that guy have an idea? Who gave him a clue? Oh, what is happening up here? Glad I didn't like immediately fast travel away. Uh, what flamethrowers? Where are their flamethrowers? was awesome. Do it again. Oh my god. This is the best thing ever. I'm bummed I couldn't see him land. I'm stuck. 
I don't know I'm stuck on. Look at Skelly fly! Fly, Skelly, fly! You can do it! Imagine if another player was just <laughs> just walking out there and then all of a sudden a skeleton came out of nowhere and landed on, on his head. That would have been very humorous. All right, well, that was fun. Teresa's not wrong. That was the point I was getting to before I got so, as usual, so easily distracted. I do want to be done. I do. Could you please stop giving me... Oh, my God. Please stop giving me... I've, I swear I've already done that quest. All right, let's just fast travel. All right, we'll go... Um, we'll go Foundation. Oh, I could have went right to Wait Spring. What a knucklehead. I was like, we'll go Foundation and then White Spring when I could have just went to White Spring for free. What is happening now? Why is this taking so long? This episode is not sponsored by Mountain Dew Baja Blast. The Baja must flow. Fever for the flavor. Taste the rainbow. Alright, again, I don't know why I did it. I, I'm sorry. So... All right, well, it was saying to go here for the poster, right? And now I don't see the poster. Oh, that's because speak to Skippy. I don't want to speak to Skippy, goddammit. All right, anyway. Yes. I don't know what this is. I think they did do an update, so maybe this is something for the update. I, I don't know. That's why I can never, you can never really be done with 76. I mean, when I'm saying done, I mean with, 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 you know, the, the storylines. All right, I don't need to be sneaking anymore. Anybody? Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Sometimes there's, I always mix this entrance up with the other entrance, because there's that one entrance where sometimes there's something cool. Let's put on my bow and arrow. Security operation in progress. All right, that's great. That's great. I'm trying to, I was trying to shoot that ghoul over there, but he went behind the tree. Make me waste an arrow. Bro, he's right there. Can we get a not a zero percent? I missed anyway. Bro, he's right there. Like, what are you doing? What is happening? Oh my god. Now, I at one point was one hitting things with this bow and arrow, and I have not changed anything. So I don't know why it's taking three hits now to kill. To kill them. If that's what it's going to do to me, I'm also just put the... <laughs> yeah, granted, the Daniel does take more than three hits, but still. Alright, I'm leading a ghoul party. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Seriously, how did the ghoul get to me?
That was fine. I don't know how that one ghoul caught up. Oh, snappy news. I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god. Oh, Alright, well, I was going to loot the bodies, but he blew them away. Um, can I use this robot to... Oh boy, a table. A table. <laughs> That's all you had? Seriously, and I don't even know how you caught up with me. Anyways. I'll sell the plasma mine. Helping people is our chief mission. The cool uniforms <laughs> are just a nice bonus. I don't think your uniform's very cool. All hail the wise Mothman. <clears throat> Alright, why am I getting hurt? Entering a building. Alright. There's a nightclub. Read the nightclub advertisement. Atomic Fung Cocktails Music. The Rose Room. Okay. What is happening? Attend the nightclub opening. Check for job opportunities. Why are you giving me more quests? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay, let's turn this one off. We know we're returning the packet, so let's turn this one off. Fifty-two. It wants me to go talk to the Atlantic City guy. For why? That malfunctioning robot set us back in a big My friends way. Friends didn't want to join up with me. Said the responders sounded like too much work. Job postings. Missing Jack Hunter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Temp security needed. The Lombardi family is in need of armed errand person to perform certain tasks. This would be temporary role in support of the specific project. Discretion is of utmost importance, and the core responsibilities of the role will be provided if the applicant is hired. All interested parties should speak to Fabio Mondadori in Quintino's for more information. The ideal candidate is one who is diligent, meticulous, above all seasoned. Compensation can be negotiated at a competitive rate. Always make sure to boil your water before you drink it. Alright, I, I... I... This is opposite of what I... Think about it? What I just want, I just keep picking up quests. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, let's... Oh, I can't Jesus wait Lord. until dinner. I mean, I don't, I don't even, I'm so confused. I can't believe we've got a vertibird. Now it hey, wants me to talk to somebody over here. Anybody here knows how to fix a robot? Construction that worker. malfunctioning robot said, hey, you know your way around the insides of a protectron? Sure. I've been known to dabble in robot repairs. Fix your oh, robots are my middle names. <laughs> sure. Perfect. One of them construction protectrons went haywire on us. Started spouting off gibberish and measuring things all wrong. Last time a bot went nuts, it nearly pulled a guy's arm off. So we ain't taking any chances. We shut it meetings. down until we can get it fixed. I think it's all the stress. Can, I mean, I, I saw it already. It's right down the hall. Where can I find this protectron? Thing was making everyone uncomfortable. So we stashed it away. We put it over in the common room. A lot of space there for a broken robot. Uh, I'm on the job. You're a real life saver, pal. I better get back to work. All right, I don't know what's happening. What is this? Takes a lot of chems to get thrown out of the Neapolitan, but we were riding the line. My confidant and I made the trip to cover the Showman's Games, a world-renowned exercise in high-stakes barbarism. Few in the entertainment world could match. 
Instead, we spend most of our time getting hopped up on daddy and chugging bourbon in the casino bar. It seemed a logical course of action. The games were notoriously deadly even for bystanders. Liquid courage and a head full of hallucinogens were the obvious defense. What we <coughs> didn't count on was the devil's blood. We had never heard of this stuff, and for good reason. It's an AC specialty. We weren't supposed to have it. It wasn't meant for us, but for the real high rollers. The people who, even in a world ravaged by pestilence and war, still managed to come out on top. <sighs> but we found a way. The exclusivity made it all the sweeter. And not because we aspired to that lifestyle. Quite the opposite. We wanted to soil the royal concoction inside our mangy, flea-ridden hides. I've been doing this all decade. Oh, okay. Oh, look at all this uh, stuff so it's like donated. Atlantic That's City right. stuff that they added. It seems like a lot of the stuff is related to Atlantic City. Uh, reprogramming the robot's internal measurement settings is a simple task for your brilliant mind. In mere moments, you replace meters, grams, and liters with inches, pounds, and ounces, the way your forefathers intended. I don't, was a pretty bold I don't know. This seems no. absolute, absolutely pointless, but okay. I suppose a nice refuge like this oh, is worth You're back. Out. You fix up that robot yet? Dude, I've been gone so for 30 seconds. All fixed. You're legend. the real deal. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this is a huge relief because we're way behind on this job and really need that robot helping out. I heard there's some monsters in the pit, and I'll give you a run for your caps. All right, everything else involves leaving, <coughs> as far as I can tell. Everything is too clean here. I could dirty it up. Feeling fruity? Try nuka sherry, grape, or orange. All right, so what, what we're gonna do is we are going to turn this off, turn this off, and try right to figure out what this shenanigans is. Just a little longer, Alice. Valdez will see everything left from her. I mean, that's... That's a that good thing a little, uh, about this, that, that they are still updating and adding to it. Mr. Della Ripa only likes to organize his stamps. Uh, so that way, you know, like, again, I paid ten bucks for this. So it's like, you know, I'm almost done, and now they're adding more content. Uh, we will go to the pit, and we will go to, excuse me, Atlantic City before we're done. My main goal this episode is still to finish Beckett. Where are we going now? That's not where the map is, you jackass. Okay, why is it... I, I know that. Where are we... Oh. Because this is... Oh my god, so they put a main quest? Man, they were... No, no, no they didn't. It's... It's here. Well, I've been to the Rose Room. These robots sure make my job easier. They're, I don't... Okay, now I'm even more confused. If I've been to the Rose Room... I don't think I've been to the Rose Room. Especially considering I can fast tra fast travel here for free. I, I don't I don't know what's going on. So we'll go here and we'll find out. I thought for a second they, that they were saying that they wanted me to go off the map. Oh snap! I have been here just recently, and it wasn't ready yet. That is so interesting that I that I have been here, but it was it was all closed down. Like you could tell that they were gonna be doing something with it, and now now they have. Can I milk you? Thank you for your milk. Is that a raspberry? Oh, that's a ginseng. Yeah, because I had I had explored all around here to try to figure out if there was a way to get in. 
and then it was just I just got shut down. I was just basically like, nah, son, not today. Well, I guess today is the day. All right, well, this is very cool. I'm, I'm much more excited now that I realize that this is a place that I've already been to and tried to go into. So this is like brand brandy spanking new content. I think the update was only a couple days ago. The Rose Room. All right. It looks like it's still gambling related. Nightclub advertisement. I mean, that's the same thing the other one said. Oh, there's a basement. How would things be different with a normal family? Come have it all right here in Atlantic City. We're not. Hey, you got a great voice, lady. Wish I could stay awake to hear it. Excuse me? Just who do you think you're speaking to? Oh, shut it, Connie. You're always starting crap. I got the right to say what I mean. Your fancy jazz is putting me to sleep. <laughs> really? No, I don't know what indignities you and this country thrift store are forced to survive out here. Hey, I scavenged these threads from Charleston Landfill, fair and square. You're living in a bubble, lady. The wasteland ain't no place for some schnazzy pre-war nightclub. Get out of my club! Get out! Out! Oh, she's Louise. You don't have to tell me twice. By the way, your singing sucks anyway. Oh, the nerve! Oh, well, that was embarrassing. Welcome to the Rose Room. Anything to drink? Okay. Um... Interesting thoughts. Um, her voice wasn't moving when she was singing. Bethesda Game Studios, it just works. Uh, the people sort of... Right. Um, Ten sex to take a breather. Bro, I'm talking. The people that kind of uh, were uh, hassling her definitely rem reminded me of uh, people from Jersey. So that's kind of funny. How is she getting up? No, she's not. Oh, excuse me. I wish to, just once we could keep it together. Not trying to look up your dress. Okay. We're going to go down and talk to the dude we're supposed to be talking to. I promise. I just... Oh, I don't really want to waste caps. Nope. Not a gambler. Nope. Not going to do it. We got nobody in the kitchen. Nothing's we just, ever simple. We just leave money out. All right, can't get in there. It requires a key. Oh wait, there is a note. My own room. Dad, if we're going to be staying in Appalachia, can we please expand the house? I don't think I can handle another night sharing a bunk with Abby. Her snoring is horrific. Seriously, it sounds like a car's failing to start at night. Hell, I'd even help you build it if we have to. I'm all excited for this whole family thing. Don't get me wrong, but I need a break here. Vin. Okay, so there is somebody else. I like the old timey phone. Can't really see it though, even with my light on. All right, are you still fanning do this, yourself? Do that. Out here? Okay, Antonio. Evelyn, Antonio. My wife's throwing another party, isn't she? Well, enjoy the festivities. Okay. That was not the voice I expected. I for, wish just once we could keep it together. For her husband. That's Antonio's computer. Can't get in there. Alright. Death from above. Let's make sure I'm not being nuked. I'm safe. Another note? Vin's to-do list. Right. Finish unpacking. Attention citizens. Oh my god. Nuclear strike imminent. Uh-huh. Please exit the area at yep. your earliest convenience. Mm -hmm, yep. Put up flyers. Done. Thank you for your cooperation. Jesus. Update inventory list. Lock supply room. Can't keep inventory. 
if mom keeps taking things without logging it, find local suppliers. It might be more I difficult than expected to an area's family. low population. Options. Handy who outsources moonshine production to volunteers at a jamboree. Very unprofessional. Okay, might need to start our own brewery. Set up tables and chairs done. Set up stage done. Maintain my sanity. Have a successful opening night. Okay. So I'm going to guess we're going to end up trying to help them with their opening that. night. That's the that's the plan here. All right, so yeah, they're all sleeping in one room. And another note to Vin. Oh, wow. Okay. Vin, I can't lie to you and say that I agree with your decision to go to Appalachia. While I admire persistence and the need to follow through on a cause, I only adhere to that mentality when the cause is just. To put it simply, it seems like you're barking up the wrong tree, but you're a grown man now. It's your life, your choices. That being said, however, your absence here at City Hall will certainly be felt. One dimension to that is your work ethic and dedication you've done a lot for this city and that work certainly didn't go unnoticed the other side of it is sentimental we don't have a whole lot of folks willing to keep excuse me willing to help out as you know so it's pretty small group of us here <coughs> sorry and it becomes a bit like family I don't say this easily, but in time I came to look at you as if you were my own son. Well, I can't speak for her, I know Frida feels the same way. Had things taken a different turn, I would have liked for you to have taken the reins of mayor from me one day, but we can never predict how life turns out, can we? Despite this, I know you have an obligation to your own kin. I wish you the best in the rolling green hills and endless blue skies of Appalachia. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for this city, son. Just know that if you ever decide to return, you will always be welcome in the municipal office. Sincerely, Tim Lane. Interesting. Okay. So, Vin's the bartender. Ever simple. Can I push you over the railing? That would be kind of fun. Alright. You're still manically fanning yourself. That was just too much for you. No, I keep saying she's getting up, so can't talk to her. Let's go talk to Vin. What's up, Vin? What's your pleasure? I apologize on behalf of my mother. We'll have enough trouble getting people in here without her immediately scaring them away. To be honest, this is more turnout than I expected. Which is welcome, of course. I mean, I just hope the rest of them are friendly. <clears throat> Anything to drink? You have a very big forehead, sir. You remind me of Conan O'Brien. Uh, hey, don't worry about it. We've all got those relatives. Your mom is crazy. You can't treat customers like that. Yeah, well, I've got more of them than I'd like. Sorry, it's not your job to hear me complain. It's your job to relax, have a drink, and enjoy the music. So, what can I help you with? Seems like maybe you're the one who could use some help. Why open a nightclub here of all places? Is it just you and your mom here? No, there's the dad. We've already seen him. Uh, I'm going to look around for a minute. Um, I mean, we already know the answer to this. So. My sister's sitting over there. Dad's probably up in his room. He's getting up there, starting to have some cognitive issues recently. It doesn't make him great for socializing. There's another question for my dear mother. We just moved here from the coast, Atlantic City, which, believe it or not, is doing pretty well compared to, um, you know, everywhere else. Over there, Mom was an entertainer. It's what she does, what she knows. I don't think she's woken up to the reality of what the rest of the world is like out here. See, that's, um, you know, why does anyone move, really? To see new sights, you know, make new friends, get a fresh start. Could I offer you another drink? Bro, I haven't even had a first drink yet. I had to get up and get a tissue. My nose started to run. Super annoying. Um, seems like uh, maybe you're the one who could use some help. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I really could. My mom thought we weren't going to have any trouble tonight, but the crowd I've seen so far, I have my doubts. Big ones. If you feel inclined, um, could you keep an eye out? Maybe, if it's necessary, handle a fight? But keep a low profile about it so mom doesn't freak out. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I'd like to help, but I don't work for free. Oh! Right, of course not. I wouldn't expect you to. The head's just all over the place lately. This is what I can spare. Go ahead and join the audience. If nothing happens, then, um, you can enjoy the show just like everyone else. I hope that's the case, but, you know, better safe than sorry. And thank you. I do really appreciate the help. You need something, too? Okay. So, I'm concerned that if, like, a fight or something does break out, that a bow, um... <laughs> maybe not gonna be... just once we could keep it together. ...the best weapon. Wait, what? How do I have a meat cleaver and the bow equipped at the same time? Very confused now. All right, ten seconds to take a breather. Where's the meat cleaver? What is happening? <laughs> Does anybody know what's happening? <clears throat> All right, I don't understand what's happening with that. Let's drink some. Do this. Do that. Brahmin milk. Yum yum. Alright, that's not helping me either. Alright, water's full. Rice and beans. Nothing's ever simple. Sounds delicious. All right, everything's good. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on with the weapons, so. though? Um, all right, I also have a rolling pin. Can I equip the rolling pin? Yes, I can equip the rolling pin. Okay. Why can't I equip the meat cleaver? <sighs> oh, this is so weird. How would things be different with a normal family? I have a a a mystery meat cleaver. I don't. I don't understand. Is it... Am I throwing it? <laughs> no. I don't understand. Alright. Screw it. I'm, I'm gonna equip the rolling pin, because I don't know what's happening. Do this, do that. Hello, folks. Rowdy looking bunch out there. Well, as I say, there's no better cure for a long day than some snazzy tunes. Sit back and enjoy. All right, who's going to cause a problem here? <laughs> she goes right for the tube, man. Come on. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can't uh, listen uh. to this baloney no more. Let's light this place up. God damn it. Everyone whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I wasn't actually expecting... This is getting silly now. Uh... Why is every patron hot? Simple instructions. How hard is it <coughs> to follow simple instructions?
Vincenzo, why is my audience dead? <laughs> why don't you ask this guy before he croaks? I'm trying to, but it won't. I mean, really. <coughs> what does on my signal mean to you? Does it mean whatever the hell you want? Damn right it does. Uh, <laughs> looks like not following instructions didn't turn out so well for your crew. I know you just tried to kill everyone here, but I feel for you, man. No, I'm not saying that. Didn't turn out well for them. <laughs> what about me, huh? Condemned to death by the stupidity of others. It was simple. Wait for all the Russos to be in the room together. Shoot on my signal. Couldn't follow either one. Almost makes me happy to be put out of my freaking misery. Uh, who sent you? <coughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Whoever it was, they're wasting their time sending you all this way. Hey, I told them the same thing, lady. Starting to think they wanted to get rid of me, too. Why are you after the Russos? Vincenzo! What did you do? What? Really? You of all people are gonna point your finger at me? <laughs> Guess every one of you nutsos has a reason to be afraid of payback from Atlantic City. Sleep tight, Russos. I may not be the last to come for you. Just nonsense is all it is. We can't let them scare us. We don't know who they are to begin with. Oh, don't act like you're above all this. For all we know, someone at City Hall has it out for you. I can't even begin to tell you how little you know about me and City... Shit, Abby, are you okay? Um, how about your musician? Your musician is dead. That's not upsetting at all. I'm so cold. Abby doesn't seem like she's doing so good. Get away from me. Oh, I know. I thought I covered my tracks. They're gonna come back. They're gonna... What are you talking about? She's got the shakes. Could be she's danced with the devil. You're my own mom. Don't talk to me like... <sighs> Crap. I think you're right. Dance with the devil? What does that mean? <laughs> uh, should I see myself out? Um, I, she's on drugs. Those who'd fancy themselves part of the Atlantic City High Life have access to a special intoxicant. They drink the devil's blood. I should have paid more attention. Must be the stress of the move got to her. You say that now? All of this was your idea. We're so busy dealing with your problems, there's no room for anyone else. Is that really how you feel, Vincenzo? Yes, it is 100% absolutely how I feel. After everything I've done for us, everything I've sacrificed, Unbelievable. All right, I gotta talk to Obi. Apparently, I think I went too far. What was that? Who are you? Get away. What? Interact with me. Sorry about all this. <clears throat> I was right to expect trouble, just not. This much of it. All right, howdy doody. I'm here to help. Uh, let me know what you need. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> Just gonna come for please me. go talk to my mother for me. It was a bad time to set her off. Right now, we just need to figure out how to help Abby. All right, I'll go talk to Evelyn. Uh, what do you want me to say to her? Seems like uh, you do a lot of heavy lifting here. Must, must Were those hitmen something. after you? Where did I screw yeah. up? Tell me about it. Mom's obsessed with herself, and Dad can hardly remember what he did two minutes ago. With the two of them so preoccupied, it's no wonder Abby keeps getting herself into trouble. That leaves me to jerry-rig everything together with twine and duct tape. I'm so cold. 
What do you want me to say? That regardless of any issues between me and her, she needs to come down and be there for her daughter. Tell her I'm sorry, and, and Abby needs her right now. She needs all of us. I can't do this on my own. Well, those hitmen away. after you? No, they were after Abby. Me? It's, um, possible, but I wouldn't be the first in line for elimination. Anyway, that's not important right now. Those people are dead, and Abby's alive. But that could change if we don't get her treated. What, what was that? All right, I'll go talk to your moms. Thank you. I know you'll have better luck than I would. All right, Sunny woke up. Sunny's ready for uh, some trouble, what, apparently. What was that? All right, I wasn't completely prepared for family drama. Are you gonna actually talk this time? All right, can you? Opening night is a failure. I offer drinks, games, music, more excitement and luxury much, than this something dreary mountain range strong. has ever seen, and what do I get? An audience full of hitmen, a strung out daughter, and an unappreciative son! Just ridiculous! Nothing makes sense anymore! You're very dramatic. Vin wants you to come downstairs and help Abby. Yeah, this seems like a mess. I'd be frustrated too. What's wrong with you? Your children need you right now. You're come for me. Welcome to my life. <laughs> Nothing has gone right since the bombs, and that's a damn long time to make the show go on. Of course he does. And I'd like one thing in the last 20 years of my life to count as a success. Is that so much to ask for? Ah, oh, fine. I'll come downstairs and help. The extra moment of peace isn't worth delaying the inevitable. But it's not like I'll be able to do anything anyway. Okay, I'll see you downstairs. Shouldn't you be more concerned about your daughter right now? Will those hitmen after you? Oh, and just what are you implying? You don't know anything about me! I did what was necessary to survive in a cutthroat industry full of insane people. If they'd come after me for that, let them. Okay, that wasn't really an answer to my question. Why can't you tell me about Atlantic City? Once a paradise, now a madhouse. Everyone lost their sanity after the bombs. The showmen are the worst of all. Avoid them at all costs. Okay. Who are the showmen? What was that? They're masochists who get off on risking their own lives in front of others. Once upon a time, people could appreciate simple talent. Now, everyone's so depressed about the end of the world that the only way they can feel something is by pumping their adrenaline up to 11. The showmen make a living by capitalizing on that desire. Must, must have left something. Okay. Did I screw up? Shouldn't you be more concerned about your daughter? You think I'm not concerned? Let me ask you something. What do you do to de-stress? Read a comic? Listen to the radio? It's the apocalypse. Maybe you go out and blow some heads off. Whatever it is, it's a distraction. A tool to stay sane under pressure. So don't you dare judge me for keeping my head above water. Much better to complain than to have an emotional breakdown. So cold. Okay, I'll see you downstairs. Do me one favor first. Go upstairs and let my husband Antonio know what's happening. He may not understand, but he should at least be told. Okie dokie. Oh, they're gonna come for me. Well, uh, pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the Russo's Haven. How, how, how do you like the festivities? <laughs> Your daughter is addicted to something called devil's blood. Blood of the devil? Now, that doesn't sound like something anybody should be drinking. So why are both his and Opie's teeth, um, like, zebra? Like, there's like one white, one black, one white, one black. Uh, what should we do about it? Your daughter's life is at stake here. Are you doing alright? Me? Oh, I, I, I'm right as rain. 
Oh, how are you doing this fine evening? Enjoying the festivities? Or were those hitmen after you? Hitmen? What hitmen? Have you been watching too much television? Yes, I have. Uh, what can you tell me about your daughter? My daughter? Oh. Um. My daughter. Oh, you know, I, I still remember catching little Abby with a pack of candy pilfered from the convenience store. <laughs> so clever. Yeah. And so stubborn. <laughs> I, I never thought that, that she would, um. Um. What? Were, were we talking about somebody? Yeah, we're talking about Abby. I have a I have a cat in front of me now. Uh, I'm going. Thanks for the tail on the face, buddy. I'm going now. Bye, Antonio. No, no, no. Going already? But you you just said hello. What do you happen to have something. the time? Where did I screw up? Sorry about that. I had to. Uh, Extricate. Oh, now he's walking backwards. What is happening? What? What is he doing? What? <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, Bethesda, what did you do? You rolled this out, and it's a it's a mess. Okay. Um. Jesus, Lord. They're gonna come for me. Who am I talking to now? Opie again. I'm sure Vincenzo knows what to do. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to him. Me. I guess you're in my way. You're back. Thanks for that. Look, I've done some thinking. Devil's blood is highly addictive, and withdrawal is dangerous. It could even be fatal. We're hundreds of miles away from anyone who knows what to do about this. Doctors here are only going to know There's about regular counts. Where did I screw up? A doctor's not good enough anyway. We need the blood. And the only place to get devil's blood is in Atlantic City. Fight addiction with more of the substance? Is that really a good idea? Maybe we can act a doc ask a doctor at the refuge. Like I said, they may have heard about devil's blood, but they're not going to have a supply. Must have, must have left or a something. cure. Where did that I vertebrate... Up? Say, you don't happen to be on good terms with the refuge, do you? Responders reborn. We're on good terms? That's a boon we really need right now. I need to ask you something crazy. Because you don't really know us, and, and really, from what you've seen so far, have no reason to trust us. But my sister is in trouble, so I'm going to ask. Could you fly to Atlantic City and bring back a dose of Devil's Blood? Uh, you make the second part of that sound like a simple ask. I did say it was crazy. But please, and I really mean it, it'd be a bad idea what for any that? of us to go back there right now. If newcomers like us could even negotiate a flight in the first place. You've got it. I'll get that devil's blood and save your sister. But how does one go about acquiring devil's blood? Why would it be a bad idea for you to go there? Remember the firefight earlier? Whoever sent those people still has it out for us. <laughs> For one of us, in any case. Undetermined. We could fight about it all day. I'm gonna say it's the dad. Because it, it made it seem like everybody else has a reason for it to be them, and then the dad, we just don't know, because he's um, got dementia or Alzheimer's or whatever's going on here. How does one go about getting some blood from the devil? It's an exclusive camp. Typically only accessible to high society and to the people that source it. Not the mob. You'll me. have to find one of them. See what you can negotiate. Maybe I could s steal it? You're not joking, right? Oh, you can pull this off. We, Abby, need you to. Please, just let us know as soon as possible if anything goes wrong. I'll do whatever I can for her in the meantime. The Russo's little helper. Be a dear and remind me the world already ended. What was that?
Okay. Oh, another broken nail. I'm not cut out for all this manual labor. Nobody cares that the musician's dead. I'm the only one that cares. All right. So, Jesus, I, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on Beckett. This, this, I, I had no idea. How, I mean, at least there's more of a reason to actually go to Atlantic City now. Other than to just check out the, to check out the, um, what are they? I don't even remember what they're calling them. Expeditions. So I'll go try to talk to Orlando real quick. I, again, I'm not actually going to be going to Atlantic City this episode. So as soon as it gets to the point where like that's the only thing that's left to do, we will jump back to Beckett and do some more Beckett. Um, oh my god. Ran it right into a bush. And maybe we'll do Atlantic City the next episode. I, I was not planning on that specifically, but I didn't really have a concrete plan. But we could definitely do that. Check in with the medics if you're feeling under the weather. I haven't talked to Orlando in a while. As I've said, Mrs. Russo... The facilities are available to responders and refugees. I am responding to a need to save an addict from the terrifying consequences of indulgence! I suppose your charity doesn't extend to dirty junkies. Is that it? As it stands, I have no way to verify your story. Had you a prior relationship with us, or the victim was present for our medical staff to... Prior relationship? So this is a refuge ruled by nepotism, is it? Why are you guys looking at me? Um, uh, what's, what's up, Orlando? I deeply apologize for the commotion, darling. We do strive to make every visit to the White Spring a pleasant one. Finally, you've arrived. I was resigned to having to convince this lunatic that my daughter is dying all by myself. Do you know this woman? <laughs> yes, she recently moved to the area and she needs our help. Yeah, I don't know why she's here. Ah, wonderful. I believe an apology is in order. Apologies are order to those who deserve them. <clears throat> Nonetheless, it behooves the refuge to help those in need. Perhaps you could provide more coherent details regarding this woman's conundrum. Uh, her daughter Abby is suffering withdrawal. She needs a dose of a chem called Devil's Blood. Hmm. We've heard the name. The stories place it as something rather more dangerous than your average chem. The high is legendary, reserved for the upper crust of idiots who live in America's playground and still manage to get bored. It is your daughter we're talking about helping, right? Oh, give Abigail a break. The move has been stressful for her. <laughs> well, it all started with an attempted hit on Evelyn's nightclub. Oh, don't tell people about that. You'll scare away the customers. A nightclub? Here? In the rural mountains of West Virginia? From what I've seen, you hippies could really hippies? use the excitement. Oh my god. Oh dear. I don't even know where to begin with correcting you. Yeah, long story short, we need to go to Atlantic City. In that case, you will be happy to hear that the leaders of Atlantic City are sponsoring travel for visitors. You might speak to Mr. Jeremiah Hopkins about it, if you haven't already. He has a booth out in the common area, beside the stage. So long as you're willing to provide assistance to the locals during your travels, 
You may fly to Atlantic City whenever you'd like. Incredible. Was that so difficult? You're graciously welcome for the flight, Mrs. Russo. Now I'm afraid I have other duties to attend to. Lennox shall be happy to board you once your preparations are complete. Excuse me. It baffles me how you're able to deal with that person. I mean, where are they from? The 17th century? Well, apparently Orlando doesn't know how to work a door. <laughs> this is so awesomely bad. But <laughs> they just teleported through the door. I'm going to head out. Why are you here? I was planning to head to Atlantic City alone. You didn't have to be so rude. You have a pretty strange way of speaking yourself. Oh, please. I'm a performer. I learned from real life stage experience. Not from sitting at home reading Shakespeare over and over like that Orlando character must have. It's embarrassing to listen to. <laughs> Oh, you didn't have to be so rude. Of course I didn't have to. We're all free people, aren't we? I take it upon myself to answer a pain in the ass with a full-body Charlie horse. At a minimum. Honestly, do you not stick up for yourself? Why are you here? Oh, you were, were you? And what was I supposed to do? Just leave my daughter's fate in the hands of some stranger hundreds of miles away? For all I know, you might throw back the blood at your first opportunity. Then you'll find yourself splayed out naked on the boardwalk two days later, choking on your own vomit. I suppose the showman would dispose of you before letting you bare your cheeks on their turf. And then where would that leave me? And Abigail? Uh, I'm gonna head out. Wonderful. I'll be having a drink at the bar until our departure. I'll need it to get me through that dreadful flight. Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt you. I just heard you were going to Atlantic City and I, uh... It's not safe there. There's a monster. I saw it. People keep going missing. That's why I left. You're not mouthing off about some Jersey Devil, are you? What a load of hogwash. My parents told me that story when I was a child to scare me into submission. Well, it didn't work. And no Jersey Devil has snatched me from my bed. It's real, I swear. Jersey Devil, Devil's Blood, any connection? They're siphoning its blood and turning it into a drug. That's why it's so angry now. Marketing tactics. What would you name a cam that's supposed to be the ultimate temptation? Would you call it innocent angel milk? Siphoning blood. <laughs> no sensible business person would put in all that effort. Even if the Jersey Devil was real. Would it hurt to respond to the need to dust the place? Innocent angel blood sounds ama uh, milk. Excuse me. Innocent angel milk sounds amazing. Um, this this uh, superstitious refugee sounds like Mama Murphy from Fallout Four. Oh boy, not another case of missing persons. Loud tourists, low tier entertainers, showgoers on their way home from the pier. The devil swoops down from the sky and swallows them whole. The perfect cover story to disappear anyone in convenience. <laughs> that devil almost got me too. Oh, good thing I fled to the mountains. Now Mothman will get you. What's a Jersey Devil? Long ago, a woman known as Mother Leeds cursed her thirteenth child. When she gave birth to the child one stormy night in the Pine Barrens, it transformed into a winged devil and flew off into the night. It's been tormenting Jersey residents ever since. <laughs> so this is this is so uh, 
just absolutely ridiculous and bizarre to me because uh, I've been to the Pine Barrens many times uh, in real life, specifically um, looking for the Jersey Devil. This is years ago, but it's something that I did uh, quite frequently with one of my best friends. Um, we'd go there late, late at night after midnight and go on the fire roads and literally drive around inside the Pine Barrens. Um, and it, there's nothing. It's just a massive, massive forest. Um, I believe you. I saw one, too. You did? Oh, brother. Don't encourage these delusions. We're lucky to be alive. It had so much evil intent i still feel its effects don't you i love the i believe she's wearing a tinfoil hat that's what it's supposed to be thanks for the warning uh but i'm still going to atlantic city at least i warned you better for my conscience keep your eyes on the skies honestly the presence of custodial robots does not excuse tracking mud all over our floors Do you think it's really safe here? Sure. That's how you open up doors, Orlando. Darling, wonderful to see you. Can I be of service? I feel so. Um. When will it go away? I. We've already done all this. I was just curious after that whole bit if there was anything new. Believe me, I shall be counting the minutes, dear. Come back safely. So why would they give a main quest that makes it so that way you have to go, which we're immediately going and turn that off now, um, and turn, not that one, this one. How long my list is now? Jesus. <laughs> um, I love Esme's cooking. It's been so long since I've had food with actual food. Why they did a quest for this that's literally making you go there, but they didn't do a quest that literally made you go to the pit. They made you do a quest that you could complete up to preparing to go to the pit, but never actually forced me to go to the pit to complete a quest. That's interesting. So they're really pushing Atlantic City for some reason. Even more so, in my opinion, than the pit, since they're really, like, go there. Hopefully uh, Atlantic City is not as buggy as the uh, dialogue and stuff for that, with them moonwalking and walking backwards and... Oh my god, Black Fighter Rifle. Alright, Beckett. I rescued- It's nice to have company. So, when Ronnie <sighs> said dog, what she meant was a freaking mole rat? Seriously. Yes. Well, I'm sure it'll uh, find its way home, Dad, when now that you've freed it. <laughs> Yuck. But in the meantime, I've heard the Blood Eagles have recruited a mechanic named Star. And they plan to have her help take over a radio station. We can't let that happen. If they get the radio working, we could drastically decrease their signal to noise ratio with a burst jammer. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure everything you just said made perfect sense to you, but uh, all I heard was blah, 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 blah. Uh, <laughs> How about you just stick the burst jam and a bullet into Star's skull? Hmm? That should do the trick. Uh... Huh, know anything about this Star person? She joined up about two weeks before I did. She's so amped, they didn't even need to juice her up with the buff out to mess with her mind. I once saw her kick a defenseless woman off of a cliff. I mean, who the hell does that? She needs to fall. <laughs> Hard. 
All right, I was thinking maybe we didn't have to kill her, but sounds like uh, she needs yeah, to the die. Blood Eagles get a radio station up and running. They can literally broadcast their threats across Appalachia. Everyone who hears the message will either run away or join up to avoid being killed. All right, let's go kill Star. Yeah, it's the only way. Want anything before you head out? Have you heard back from Edwin's gang? No, and it's kind of freaking me out. I was getting regular messages from Ronnie, and suddenly they've stopped. I have a feeling something big is going down over at their camp, but well, we can't worry about that now. How is Sage doing? Has he visited lately? Not really. Though I know he'll be back. He always is. He's probably talking to the rocks again. Rocks are good listeners. Uh, I'll be back. You'll be back after these messages, right? That's uh, what I what I heard people used to say all the time. After these messages, I'll be right back. All right, where are we going? This general direction. Kill star. <laughs> kill, kill. All right, let's go. Before Atlas. Since we're going to be at Fort Atlas, we might as well run in since it regave that quest to me. Um, what's happening? Now, I used to work with the folks at Foundation. Alright, I guess I teleported in at the same time something more than just as somebody else. Alright, now I'm over encumbered. Awesome. Super awesome. Well, I guess I could, <laughs> I could get rid of the, uh... The cleaver that doesn't actually do anything? I can't move! Come on, run! Alright, running's not working for some reason. Alright, I have some technical documents. Whistle? Any new deeds to add to your scroll? Uh, uh, here. I can't wait to take a closer look at this. Thanks again! Alright, Staying safe out there. Quickly gets rid of that quest. I don't know what that means. What does rank one of G mean? What is that? Rank one of what? I'm number one. I'm number one. Pretty sure that's not what it means. All right, let's just drop off some stuff in this box. Um, but, 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 but. Uh, what do we got? Um, store. Those crater types are tough and nicer than you think. How much is the shotgun away? 15 pounds? Oh my god. Store. I'm not sure if I should be thrilled I'll or terrified. I'll take this one back. Alright, that's. That's fine. I'm still confused about the meat cleaver. Actually, what am I doing? There's a yeah. I'm gonna join up and take no, on the wasteland. The weapons one. Where's the weapons one? I'll haul a thousand boxes or fill yeah, a thousand crates. I'll just scrap crates. it. If that's what it takes to join up. That's what I was gonna do with these anyway. To get um, yeah. Some things unlocked. All right, that didn't give me anything, but all right. That yeah, seems like you don't get mods for armor. Joining the brother. So I should just sell armor. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Let's sneak first. Let's put on the bow. And then we'll fast travel right into the middle of a gang camp for two caps. 
kill star, return back to Beckett, and then we'll see what he has to do next. What the hell? That was confusing. Now last time I came in to do a murder, everybody was already murdered. Except for the person I needed to murder. I'm gonna do it. When their backs are turned, I swear I'll do it. Okay. I hate my thoughts. I hate my thoughts. I hate my thoughts. not. No, you are not. Nope. Not gonna find me. These are just silly. They're just like assassination quests. Basically, it's like I'm doing, uh, some guy's, uh, Fallout New Vegas bounty mods. What's up, Beckett? What are we doing now, man? Who else you want? Oh. Wait. What? What? Bro. Can you get... Bro. This is not helpful. Sir. Oh my god. 76. Can I have some service, please. Oh, Jesus Lord. I, I don't even know how to address this. There he is. Just be patient. Just be patient. So, Star's no longer with us, I assume? <laughs> Good. Well, honestly, I'm really glad you're back. Ronnie is desperate for our help. Turns out Edwin's much sicker than everyone thought, and, well, I don't think he's fit to run their gang any longer. I am not flirting. Edwin's gang probably needs someone stronger, more courageous. Maybe you should take over his gang. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do to help? How did Edwin get so sick? And we care because how did he get so sick? Uh, I'm not sure. His health has gone downhill since coming to Appalachia. Probably because he insisted on hanging around the ash heap. Are you taking a shot at me because we live in the ash heap? Um, <laughs> what can we do to help? Uh, I was thinking about that. Well, there was a Saddler family that came to Appalachia looking for treasure a while back. And they, uh, brought their Miss Nanny with them. They, uh, don't need it anymore. I was thinking, maybe Ronnie could use it to help with Edwin. Well, well, so there is a heart buried under all that raider bravado. Don't say stuff like that, or I'll be forced to restore my bad reputation by kicking a cat or something. <laughs> Oh, in all seriousness, uh, Edwin doesn't deserve to go out like that. I mean, he was uh, a buddy, and I want to do everything I can to make amends with the guy. If you, if you kick a cat, I will shoot you with an arrow. I'll get this robot for Edwin, but this better work. Why doesn't Settler family need their body more? They're dead. Because they're all dead. Called it. I, uh, I killed them. I killed them all for their chems and a couple of caps. It's a memory I wish I could forget. 
Is the Miss Nanny still functional? Honestly, I have no idea if it's still working. Or if someone's wandered by and decided to strip it for parts. All right, let's go get a robot. It doesn't. We just have to move on without them. Maybe we can convince Meg to help us. This won't take long. I'll be back soon. Tell me about this Miss Nanny. Do you remember where the settlers were? Well, I don't know much about the thing. Even though it seemed attached to the family, uh, you know, it didn't try to fight back when I um, when I killed everyone. You know, when I uh, put it all together, the Miss Nanny, the, the chems, the family must have been sick. I murdered sick, innocent people in cold blood. Well, this is what addiction does to you. You know, how the blood eagles strip away your humanity. Now, they need to die. All of them. All right, now you're making me feel a little guilty about the outfit I put you in. Do you how do you remember where the settlers were? I remember this place well. Do I deserve the memories replaying in my mind? Reliving what I did there? Probably. But I got to forgive myself too. Not entirely, but Enough. All right. Good. Well, in the meantime, I'll uh, put out some feelers for information on the rest of the Blood Eagles' leadership. Okay. Picked a good spot for this place. All right. I forgot. I don't have to do that. I can go... Oh no, what are you giving me all that stuff for? Stop it! Don't give me any more stuff. Alright, let's... First of all, let's... Take the clown hat off of him. Um... You can have a baseball cap. What buttons assign? X. X is assigned. Okay. Make sure I hit the right button. Can I give him the bandana and the baseball cap? I can. Alright. And it's good seeing you again. Just something I don't know. No, that doesn't look good. Um just something normal? Do I have anything normal? Explore out. No, that looks terrible. Farmhand clothes. I mean, that probably won't be too bad. All right, let's see. I like it. New and improved Beckett. All right, we're going this way this time. To the really to the mining headquarters? We gotta protect what we have. That's odd, but okay. It's worth it. Made it seem like we was going to a house, but now I'm going to a mining headquarters. So, okay. This is gonna be like the the the, the dog, where I can just like run in, tap A and run out, or what are we doing here? Oh my god, there's a sentry bot over there. Alright, well, we'll not be messing with the sentry bot. Please start sneaking. Thank you. Alright, we are going inside. I mean, we've just been here. <laughs> like, not that long ago. I 
I didn't even see. I didn't even see that at all. But we know we could get in and, in and out of here without too much trouble because we've been here just recently and many times before because they love sending me here for this quest. Um, what the hell? Oh my god. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. All right, you're coming right to me. But all right, if I had to talk. Okay. Yes, dearie. Yes, dearie. Oh my god, that's, that's it. That's all I had to do. Alright, I do kind of want to take out the legendary. Identified intruder detected. Beginning search. Dangerous fugitive is on the loose. Do not attempt to apprehend. All right, let's let it go back hidden. Hopefully. Chicken shit, <laughs> Thank you. Um, there we go. So that way we can get the sneak. That's interesting that there's a... How did I miss that shot? It was like 80%. I guess he walked forward. Alright, well now you're in here. And it's just me and you. Alright, is he, is he gonna blow because he's legendary? Right? Oh my god. I guess I wasn't far enough away. Well, there's the dumb and the death. Jesus, Lord. Seriously, now. I thought for sure I was far enough away. Oh, all right. That wasn't that wasn't worth it anyway. Ridiculous. I thought since after I spent all my script trying to get some legendaries and kind of failing to get. I mean, I'm happy with the things we got, but still, like, it was... What we got was not what I was looking for. So I was like, well, maybe... Maybe we'll get lucky. I, I can fast travel from here. I don't need to... We're only going right up, back up to here again. Alright, so we'll see what Beckett's got here. I, I feel like this has been going on forever. So we'll probably wrap this up here. And then I guess we'll finish up Beckett next episode. And then I guess... We will do Atlantic City once we finished up Beckett. So that's the loose outline of plan. There we Things go. Things will be okay. Shit. Oh my god. Oh, I'm glad you're back. Oh, I've got some news you need to hear. Everything okay? No. Not okay at all 
It's Frankie, my kid brother. I told that idiot to leave Foundation and hide, but he wouldn't listen. And now the Blood Eagles have him, and I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. This is all my fault. Beckett, slow down. Why do they have your brother? Slow down? Why? But don't you get it? They're gonna torture him to get to me. Okay, look. First, they kill your heart. They make you forget everything you love. And when you're the most vulnerable, they mess with your brain. Where is he? I have no idea. Look, all I know is he's gone. And I don't know what they're doing to him. I'll take care of this. You're a real friend. You truly are. Okay, Beckett. Breathe here. Come on, let's see. Let's see, he's a smart kid. I mean, maybe he'll escape on his own, right? I mean... No. No. God damn it! Oh my god. I just keep imagining the terrible things they're doing to him. I, uh... Oh god, I can't think. I can't think. Snap out of Beckett, think. Do you think Frankie would willingly join the Blood Eagles? Frankie? <laughs> no, 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 there's no way. Look, they're holding him for leverage, plain and simple. And, 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 and now that their buff out supply is gone, God knows how they're going to mess with his mind. Snap out of it, Beckett, think. Phew. Yeah, yeah. No, you're, you're right. I can't let this get to me. Think. I need to think. Wait, wait. I got it. Okay, I know what we need to do. Okay, the Blood Eagles have another leader. Uh, some sicko they call the Eye. Okay, he's the gang's uh, information extractor. Okay, you need to find him. He's elusive, but I know where he does some of his worst shit to people. It's a place they call the lab. Okay. I promise you, if they've harmed Frankie in any way, I'll rip them apart with my bare hands. Thank you, friend. I knew I could depend on you to have my back. Just do what you need to do and come back safe. I don't want to lose you to those maniacs. And then, after I've ripped them apart from my bare hands, I'm going to poop on them! I'll find the eye, but what are you going to do? I'll head to Foundation. See if I can get a hold of some of Frankie's friends, or rummage through his stuff. I'll see what I can turn up. Need anything mm. before you head out? Turnups. I love turnups. You sure this eye will have information on Frankie? Well, it's not like the Blood Eagles keep a lot of records. Everybody moves around a lot, and there isn't that much structure outside of the leadership. It might be a gamble, but it's the best chance we've got. Tell me about your brother. <laughs> Frankie was a... <clears throat> is... a good kid. I knew things were going rough for me, so I left him with some settlers. I didn't know he'd come down to Appalachia. When I heard he was living in Foundation, I thought, maybe, you know? Maybe he'll be safe with them. I didn't tell anybody about him being there. I, <clears throat> I knew someone would use it against me. I don't know how they found out. I'll see what I can find. I'll be back. I'll be back. Just hurry. There's no telling how long my brother will be able to hold out. Get in the vertebrate. You've got a great place here. Okay, now you, now you like my place? Alright, I mean, we're gonna have to end it here regardless, because I know... Inventory is getting, uh, getting kind of silly. And I'm going to have to play with it for a while because my 
my sack over here. My sack is f <laughs> my sack is full. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, there's gonna be that situation as well. I mean, it's not full, full, but like, if I wanted to stick the minigun in here, that's not happening anytime soon. So I gotta kind of go through these again and figure out like what I want, what I don't want, yada yada yada. But I'll do that in between episodes. Ha! <sighs> Didn't get done exactly what I wanted to get done here, and I feel like somehow I picked up more quests than I got rid of. Which uh, I mean, now we have another main quest, and there's all these things. to go to crater I, I don't know I'm I'm confused yeah I feel like we went somehow went the wrong way but regardless of that this has been episode 107 dear god episode 107 of assault just fluff I've been botching the outros as much as I used to botch the intros this has been episode 107 of Fallout 76 blind death and dumb Definitely brought to a death and dumb this episode. I'm looking at my Titan with wow. all that being said. You can uh, actually taste the air here. I'm gonna mm. shoot you. <laughs> I, I bid you adieu. Goodbye and good night, Vault Dwellers. Thank you so very much for watching. Please subscribe or I'll shoot you with the world's loudest gun. Have a good night. See ya.